stuff we saw in that video. Um, this season is really starting to pick up. We got another female laying eggs. The raptor, the het tremper female just laid some eggs. And we're going to dig these up for you. Now, if you ask me, I like to watch these kind of videos on YouTube. And nobody makes them. So I'm going to try to do this as best as I can to show you guys this video. Because I really like these videos, but no one makes them. So let's try this. I know in this corner I saw her laying them. So I'm just going to, you know, do this real fast. I like to use a makeup brush a lot easier. Actually, here, just give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm starting to make a mess here. <laughs> now, if I was a bigger breeder, I really wouldn't do this, but I only have two females laying eggs, so this is pretty easy. There's two eggs right there. Man, those are good-looking eggs. For a fourth clutch female, those are some pretty good looking eggs. Now, I hope they're not stuck. Like, the first clutch was, it was laid exactly like this. Only this egg was in here, and this egg was, like, right here. No, they're not, because one just moved, and she just laid them. So, it's, like, kind of impossible that they're stuck already. So, got this. I'm going to try to clean them up a little bit more. I'll be right back. Wait, now, you know, I'll just do it in front of you. She's been in here for a few hours laying eggs. I don't want to mess with her because it's not very good to mess a female up after she's laying eggs. You're supposed to let them at least cover it, which is what I did. I didn't let her cover because when she's about to lay, all the dirt is right here. When she's done laying, she puts it way up here and it makes it a lot harder for me. So I try to get her like right after she's done laying. These are some good looking eggs. And she lays them pretty good, too, so it'll be easy for me to just uh, get these. But here, I'm going to mark these eggs here. Let me just clean them off a little bit more. Kind of dirty. All right, there we go. I'm just going to mark these, and I'll be right back. All right, so those are the two eggs. I just marked them. And then I'm going to move this camera to right here, where the box is. I'm just going to make two indents. You should see another video like this later on this week. Got another female about to lay some eggs. So I'm just going to put those eggs in here very carefully. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see a wider spectrum of what I'm doing here. Let me just fix this up a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to zoom out here so you guys can see this whole thing. I hate the way she laid these. Like, well, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as the way she laid them first because the way it was in this corner over here, it was really hard to grip on without dropping it. I'm trying to get the dirt from around it. There we go, we got one egg. Still a little bit soft, but that is normal because she did just lay them. Made a little cradle around it. Now we'll do the other egg. I'm going to try to get this so you guys can see it a little bit better. There you go. Perfect. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. And the gecko is a very happy mother. She's a great mom. So there they are, guys. There is the fourth clutch. Actually, I can candle these for you guys real quick. But you're not really going to see anything. 
you know, I won't even care. I'll, I'll save it for an egg update video because I do need to make one of this soon. So I guess I'll see you guys later. There. Yeah, I'll just put them in the incubator for you guys. Hey guys, there's the next clutch. We should have another video like that in about a week, so I guess I'll see you guys later.